Wasted some money on this. I don't know when or if I'll ever get to assemble the thing or do anything with it, but there it is the box. Got it off of eBay, which was probably a bad idea because they charged me a whole lot of money for shipping. But there it is. And this is what you see when you open the box to the Excursion 5. Looks like it's a nice carrying case. And I'll pull it out and see what else we got to do. Getting it out of the box. Opening the box was easy. But getting that thing out of the box was a lot of work. Must be like 50 pounds. <sighs> All right. All right, we're going to open up the box. He's we opened the box. The now we're going to take the box out of the bag. Now we're taking the boat out of the bag. The boat out of the bag. All right, so more. I got the tarp over here. All right, so first thing out of the bag. We've got the pegs, oars, oars, okay, the train is coming, air pump, air pump, and the boat, okay, we have some, that's yeah. your Carry pouch. Carry pouch. That's your direction. And your probably your extra. Uh, That's the rope that goes around the boat. All right. Now this is the boat. Okay. So we're going to take and unroll it. There's the chairs. Here's the chairs. I set them over here for a minute. The chairs. Twelve feet by five feet. What's that black cord right there? This is the excursion five. This is what it looks like so far. First time out of the package. First time out of the package. All right. Now we're looking for back here. The three ear pockets. This is number one to air up the floor. Number two. Tear up the second ring and number three, tear up the last ring. So we get our nice little air pump that it comes with that we're gonna actually use an electric one. It comes with this hand pump one, but we're gonna use Zachary and we're gonna use the electric one.
All right, it's 421. We're going to see how long it actually takes. Well, with the electric one, it won't take us it long. It will take long. It will take long. It still will take long? All right, well, we're starting this project at 421. We'll see how long it until it completes. Okay, now it is 4.28 and that took us uh, seven minutes just to pump up this with the electric one. So that was seven minutes. So now we're going to do number two. Get that fire in. Kill them, don't they? going to let them get away. Where are you getting? I can't. All right, so it took seven minutes with the electric pump just to do this part. Now we're going to go to number two. And it shows where you take it off, uh, the big part to let the air out, but then just the first part to put the air in. I did something wrong because I got the wrong part off. There. <laughs> so just part two, let me show that angle there. We're going to put that in. Okay, and it's 4.30. See how long it takes to get the second part up. Okay, it's pumping it up so far. That's what we got. They give you a little measuring thing. So when this measuring thing is lined up, that's when you know when to stop. When this guide and this guide matches up. We've got a little bit more to go. But it's blowing up the sides. Okay, so so far it was seven minutes on the top part, seven minutes on that part. But our compression seemed like it stopped, so he's gonna hand pump the rest of it. with the hand pump or the foot pump you could do it with your foot so we're going to finish it off with that Like the hands. 
think that's it. You got to slow down some more. So that's it. Yeah. Uh. You got to slow down some more. What do you mean? All right, that's on the line. No, it ain't. No, it is. All right, it's on the line. And that's on the line. All right, so our measure thing is on the line. So that's as much as air we want to put in it. That's all the air we want to put in there. So we're going to take that off. You think? And shut that valve. And now the third part, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the measuring thing right here. gets over to this part, we'll know it's got enough. But we're doing this one with the electric one for a little bit and then we'll finish it off with the hand pump. Okay, well he's pumping that up. These little pieces here, they go in to put your fishing rods. They're just a little couplet. Let's see what the couplet looks like. Little couplet. And they go in each one of these. There's four of them. So you got one there, one there they snap or just push in? Push in. Alright, so there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Not quite blowed up yet. It's getting there. Well, why this is blown up, I might go ahead and put the string around there. Alright, so while that's being blown up, he's going to go ahead and add that cordage and go around in each one of those little holes like that and put it around each one. Would it go through those holes or go ahead, yeah. One of those holes, the top hole maybe, yeah. Okay, I'll pump that up the rest of the way too with the hand pump. I'll shut that for right now. So he's going to put the string in each one of those little eyelets. And then do some type of what kind of knot on the front end. Maybe you should sit one through each end and then that gives a double protection. Like, send that other side through too if it will fit. There, and then tie it. How tight do we want it? Is this going to stay permanent or is this going to come Yeah, back? they will stay permanent. It's not coming back off ever again, right? Okay. Because it would be your tie-off. 
or how you hold on to to get in and out of the boat. And then maybe we have to tie it. Okay. So now we got to go back to the hand pump. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. Alright, so this is what the boat's looking like so far. The Excursion 5. When it's kind of all blowed up so far. We're going to pump this back one up just a little bit more to our numbers. Maybe the four again, too. i got to lay on and find out. Okay, so let's see. This is my zero here. Put it on the line. Just a little bit more. So according to the thing, when you're, uh, that's how you want to measure how much air to put in it. You don't want to put more or less. I guess that's their specs. So he's going to hand pump it, foot pump it, whatever you want to do, it, hand pump it. Okay, sometimes he's going to just use his hands, but it's, too hard, on the it's back. too hard on the back. But we just got just a tad bit more to go until it's all measured out. I'd say two more pumps maybe, maybe three. Okay, let me hold on. I think that's good. Let me put it on. Yep, that's good. Okay, so it is now 451. So 21, 31, 41, 51. It took us 30 minutes to pump up this and that's with partly hand pump and partly um, electric pump so it still took us 30 minutes to pump it up pump up the the boat but while we was also pumping it up we did put on the fishing rod things and we did put on the string okay so you think it needs more air in the seat or no <sighs> On the floor but this is the excursion we're going to get the poles together yet in a minute but this is a pretty hot day we're working off here again well, I that. if you're working as a handicapped individual <laughs> yes we have to be careful because he can't do too much he's had several heart attacks and he's got to take it easy I ain't clear down to the floor this time. All right. So, you think it's got enough air in it? All right. Water, we got a kiddie pool. <laughs> yeah, now we fill it with the water, we have a kiddie pool. But he's sitting against the back. Our feet's very, uh, very, now we're touching. But I'm sitting against the back, so this is a pretty decent. It's 12 feet. I'm stretched out, he's stretched out. And my back's against the seat, so. Your back is not against the seat. I mean, my back's against the plastic thing. This plastic thing right here. The wall. The wall. My feet's against the wall. His feet's against the wall. No, yeah, my feet's against yours. <laughs> All right, start again. This is the length this car is, or this thing is. He's up against 
the wall there and our feet can touch and I'm stretching just this to touch his feet. The bow. the bow. So I, I'm stretching just to touch his feet. So we are stretched out with our backs up against the wall. This is with no seats in here. So this is how much room we have. Of course it says it's what, 12 feet or something? Yeah, it's 12 feet long. 12 feet long. So, so that must be including the outside though. Cause must be counting the outside. If me and you was laying together, we'd be yeah. 12 feet head to head. That's true. Well, so. 13. Alrighty, <laughs> well, now we're gonna get the seats in here. Put on. She's got the cross member. She's yeah, going. I'm gonna put in this little one. You have two sizes to choose from. I'm gonna stick this one in. Stick it in our hole, hole for our, um, this is the middle seat, I guess. This is a cross I'm, member. I'm just gonna do it this way. Whoops, no, I guess I'm not. <laughs> if you get that in there right, you won't have to worry about it. It'll come, it'll stay. It will? Yeah. It's in there. Okay, let's see. Nope. Take it off. She had to put it in the water to pump it up. <laughs> All right. So we got the small seat, and it's it's just a small pillow. It's it's not that big. It's just a pillow. It's but the it's the center one you got to after you blow it in you push this thing in make sure it's all the way in and then you hook it on in little hook, sir. one a checks this yes okay it over. there's two hooks here one on this side and one on this side and you take the hook that's on this side and hook it in there like hook that in there like this Hook it in. Let me show that again. It's got to go, go in and hook just like that. And then you take this one and you take this end. You take that little toggle, whatever you want to call it. You hook it over the line, snap it, and then it goes down. And once it's down, that's your seat. Now the seat is in. Now you can press so. pack to that somewhat. Supposedly. That's where it shows it before. I think the pack goes here and there. Oh. Okay, so now we're gonna get the seats the in. Alright, so then we're gonna blow up these seats. It says blow them up halfway and these these things here would hook on the back, so he's gonna have to move a little bit. Oh, I thought you had the big one. No, the big one's over here. So he's going to do the same thing I'd going to get out here a second, but it says to blow it up halfway and then those things just hook into the thing. Ouch. Maybe I should have hooked it up before I am going to blow it up any. There he's one. got it. And then this one hooks into there. Maybe that's why we're supposed to hook them before we blow them up all the way. <clears throat> okay, so they're hooked in now, and then we will blow it up the rest, finish blowing it up. Oops, somebody looks <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's one seat blowed up. Once you blow it up, you make sure you push this thing up. Once you blow this seat in, you punch that thing back in, so it sticks in there. And there's one seat up. We'll get the other seat. Go ahead and sit in it while you're there. <sighs> Not bad. Is it better than sitting on the bottom? It's pretty good on the lower back. Let me get around this side. It's better on the lower back? Yeah. All right, we'll get the other seat in. Now with this seat, this time we're actually going to hook it in first and then blow it up because it says to hook it, blow it up a little bit and then hook it in, but I think it's going to be easier to hook it in. It's going to be easier to hook it in. Yep. 
and then blow it up. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna try, it was real easy to hook it in like that. And then I'm gonna blow it up. All right, so there's the second seat blowed up. And it does work better if you plug, uh, hook them up first and then blow in the air. So then we're gonna hook up the pouch. Okay. The extra pouch. All right, so he put the, ho the oars together. He just snapped the two poles together, went through the ring, and then he's got like a stopper ring right there, I suppose. And he did the same thing on this side. And so, <laughs> this is the boat. We put this pouch on here, it comes with a little string, has a little bit of a pouch, and we tied a string on there to get that little pouch on there. And you got your seat behind you. So, let me do the walk around. So, oh. there he is, just a rowing down the stream. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> okay. So this is the Excursion 5, and this is what it looks like. My seat's down there. It's got a place when you don't have the oars to hook up right here and here on each side. There and or there. You put your fish on your side. And then, of course, the back of the boat. My chair. You guys get a, a magic marker and crits in it. Uh... Go. Time for step two, as Steve would say. <laughs> anyway, um, in my chair, we got our boat. This is it. The chairs are actually pretty comfortable to sit up on them like this. I like it. I wish they did have some cup holders in here. That'd be nice. Do they make such a thing? Boat cup holders? <laughs> sure they do. And then if I wanted to lay down, I can actually chill this way too. Yeah, just don't kick too hard. Yeah. <laughs> but it says this is a five-person tent. I'm taking almost the whole entire seat up on and this side. And did you side. realize she said tent? I mean, uh, five-person boat. I'm taking up almost the whole seat comfortably. He's taking up that whole seat comfortably. And I'm resting my feet on the inside seat, so I'm not exactly sure. Five people would be pretty crowded, I would think. Yeah, well, we bought it because it'll hold 1,300 pounds, and yeah. then be going, here's, here's half of that already. So I can eat another bag of chips because I've still got some ways to go. <laughs> Maverick, Pappy's in the boat. Minnie's Black in her boat. In boat. Maverick's in the boat. Mosquitoes in the boat. We got <laughs> Memphis in the boat. Uh oh, Memphis. <laughs> He's not liking it. <laughs> yeah, Minnie's in the boat. Look at Minnie in the boat. And there's Maverick. Hold the camera down in front of his face and let him look at himself. Okay, let's see if I can turn it around. Go towards the top. I got fall. I need the fall. Oh, it's Yeah, you row, row, row. You the ox still. There's Memphis on the boat. Look, there's old Memphis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Memphis. 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 And then we Just got... Scratch belly. Just scratch your belly. She likes her oh, belly scratch. Are you rowing, Maverick? You rowing the boat? Are you rowing, Maverick? I'll get the other side. <laughs> row, 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 row your, your boat, boat gently down, down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> We're getting gnats everywhere. Row, there's gnats. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. So you get your new fleet filled merrily, with shortly. Merrily, 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 life something. is but a what dream. What is today? 14th hip. Tomorrow you get your new fleet pill. Sing it again, Pappy. Row, 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 row your boat 
gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You sing it, Maverick. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row your row, boat. Row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Making a movie.